Welcome to Lessons in RxJS. My name is Nick Landkammer, and I'm a Senior Enterprise Software Engineer at Brebug. Today, we're going to talk about the RxJS operator, ConcatMap. The RxJS ConcatMap operator is a serializing stream mapper. This operator will queue up each value emitted by an outer or source observable and map them one at a time with an inner observable. Once an inner observable has been started, any future values from the outer observable are queued up until the inner observable has completed, at which time the next value from the outer observable will be mapped. This ensures that values emitted by the outer observable are handled in the order that they are emitted, and that no value from the outer observable will ever be lost. It works somewhat like the map operator, but each observable within the operator is handled in order. The ability to emit observables in order makes this a valuable operator as it becomes very useful when dealing with asynchronous code. The concatmap operator enforces a guarantee that every value from the source will be handled and handled in order. There is no dropping behavior like exhaust map, nor aborting behavior like switch map. To visualize this, Imagine people in line to ride a zip line at an amusement park. No person can ride the zip line until the person in front of them has completed their ride. Think of each person in line as an event that triggers a ride on the zip line. In this example, as with ConcatMap, every person in line must wait until all people in front of them, in order, have finished the ride before starting their own ride. Here's an example of that at work. First, we import the operators from RxJS. Next, let's lay in our mock HTTP requests, wrap them in from, and pipe the stream through concatmap. This will show the power of this operator. Notice that the one, two, three, and four second requests have been successful. The five second request logs first because concatmap is controlling that outer observable flow. Remember that stream mappers like concatmap deal with the outer stream. ConcatMap will not guarantee the order of what happens in the inner stream, other than to guarantee that until the inner completes or errors, it will remain subscribed to. Use this operator when you need to guarantee serialization of value notifications from the outer stream. Something to keep in mind, if the data streaming through the source operator is endless and arrives faster than any of the inner observables within ConcatMap, this could lead to memory issues as notifications will form a queue waiting for concatmap to handle them. Concatmap maintains a queue of values from the outer stream that need to be processed, but only one inner stream is created at a time. When there are small queues that arrive quickly, but not at a relatively high rate, the operator can handle that without issue. When the rate of incoming notifications is persistently high for a long period of time, you may develop problems in the stream. If the rate of notifications is high, try to keep them in short bursts. If you are unable to keep your stream at a reasonable rate, you may need to refactor the stream or possibly use a different operator than ConcatMap. I hope this brief video helps you feel comfortable using ConcatMap the next time you need to guarantee a chain of events will be handled in order. Good luck out there and happy coding.